So we're here at the Miami International Boat Show where Blackfin Boats just unveiled their brand new 400cc we're standing on right now. And Mason, thank you very much for being here. Absolutely. He's gonna give us the full tour. Come on board and check it out. Starting here at the transom, we see that you have the brand new Mercury Marine V10 400 Verado outboards and also the electric steering, which was debuted here at the Miami show. So this has a few benefits that we know. Everything is integrated into that steering, more responsiveness. You don't have the pumps that you got to mix in, you know, in some space here in the transom. So we'll get into more detail there, but Mason, if you can take us from there forward, let us know. I know you haven't done any uh, performance numbers yet. You haven't fine tuned this just yet. We'll get into that later on, but. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna run it right after the show. Just didn't get it there in time. Rigging back there is super clean. Nothing to trip on, no hoses. Move forward into the boat. You got rod holders across the back there. You got six across the back. You got a 70 gallon live well, small storage area here sink, throw your bait boxes, anything you want to do there. Tackle storage in the front walls, so you can open those. You got Plano storage, little drawer there. You got a Glendening shore power reel. So when you get back to the dock, just pull that out, plug it in. Massive fish boxes here. Let's in crack floor. some of these open. Yeah, let's open some of these up. Oh, wow. You're so not kidding. Giant fish boxes there. They're wow. actually lit for at night if you're at the dock at trying to clean it out when you get home. Yeah, that's absolutely huge. I don't know if you guys can see it in the video, but the size of that almost resembles a, a box of a catamaran. Obviously, yeah. you know, you got the larger sponsons on both sides, but that one of the larger fish boxes that I've come across in a monohull. So you come in here, you got a, access to your bilges, your live well pumps, your mercury rigging, your fuel filters. You know, be able to throw some a couple bean bags down in there, get them off the deck, pull sure. them out when you're ready to run home. If you were to do a sea keeper, it sits right in that forward area. And right now it's just storage underneath it. Yeah. It's nice to be able to do double up a bilge into storage, especially if you have one of this exactly. this size. So I see you guys have two Yeti coolers here Correct. on slide outs individually. Yep, 245 slide out individually. So if you want to break your food and your drinks up or your you know your alcohol and your you know kids' drinks or something like that, you can you can separate everything. Yeah. Um, and these coolers actually that you can remove from the boat are very comfortable in real life, you know? So if you have that food and your drinks, maybe you're setting this stuff up, setting it up at home, you bring it, you drop it in. When you're done, you pull the whole thing out instead of having to bring bags of food and drinks and load these in, you know, each time into the coolers that are set into the boat, you know, fixed. So I actually yeah. like that removable feature and, spl and splitting them up is really nice also. Yeah, they're just easier to carry off the boat when you get home. Yep. So here you got pull out steps. They lock in place. They also have storage underneath them, you know, so you don't lose that storage. Okay. And then those are actually steps to either access the hard top if you had an upper station or, you know, to sit in this mezzanine seating right there. Very cool. Above it is just a drawer. There's a lock on the side. You open the top up here. This boat has the optional grill, a fresh water sink. There would also be a raw water sink over there if it didn't have the grill. All the 110 stuff on this boat is ran off of a lithium ion battery bank. So there's no generator. There's no anything. The engines will actually awesome. keep up and without draining your lithium. So you get a pretty much an infinite runtime really? with your air conditioner, your grill, your refrigerator, your 110 outlets, things like that. Very nice. What kind of lithium batteries do you guys use? Uh, we're using master volts, lithium batteries. Hmm. That's impressive. It's crazy to see where, where that whole world is going. Yeah. Yeah. Just, so. you know, just trying to make the maintenance a little bit easier and, sure. you know, not have things to work on. So it should be good for 10 to 15 years, you know, depending on how much you use it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start opening some compartments. Now, this is the first time I stepped foot on the boat, so I'm kind of just learning my way around. You got storage right here, trash, which is incredibly nice to have here, horizontal rod storage underneath the cap. And then we're meeting up with Mason again under what is a massive oversized hardtop right here and the second row of the dual row seating. Yeah, so, you know, we got custom designed seats for us. They're all, they're actually heated. Really? Flip down bolsters on everything. Dual row seating, of course. This seat is actually a little bit higher, so you get that stadium seating effect where you can look over the driver and still be able to see where you're running That's and when great. the boat's at an attitude there. This is really nice upholstery. I don't know what this is, but yeah. I so this is all ultra fabrics, ultra fabrics, ultra leather. Yeah. So it's like a synthetic Super leather. Super nice, whatever. Yeah. This is. No, it's real soft and nice, and uh, it's very durable too. Yeah. One, one thing I'm noticing are the JL Audio speakers. You know, Absolutely. all backlit. Super nice. You got two tens down here. You got, yeah. you know, kind of a different angle. So this this area in here has to sound just oh, incredible. It's, it's incredible. It's incredible. JL just tuned it yesterday and. 
it's it's amazing. You've got wireless chargers down here to throw your phone into, as along with USB outlets, cup holders. Let's walk our way into the helm area. Just walking in here, this is a big boat. I'm not that big, but I can see over this thing with absolutely no problem. You got two, what are these, 20, 20, 24s. 24s, yep. Yep. Garmin MFDs. So it's really nice how this is set up. You got compartments for your phone, your keys, whatever you want to throw up here. Again, Switch panel in both directions. Wireless chargers up here as wireless well. Wireless chargers. Uh, great enclosure, protected from all the elements. And if you are of the vertically challenged, you have this drop down piece right here, which really gets you, you know, in a commanding spot if you're the captain of the boat and want to run comfortably. So what else do we have here in this area? I see we have our JL Audio control, so you can control everything right through here. Yep. Uh, bow thruster, our friends over at Zipwake and your Mercury joystick. So does this actually integrate into the uh, bow thruster on this? No, nah, th this particular one doesn't, but we are working with Mercury on that to make that happen. Yeah, that's a great feature. It'd be yep. really nice on this boat. Yeah. Okay, you guys done a beautiful job in here. This looks like a, like a jet fighter cockpit. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> Mason, real quick, before we move forward, let's go over some of the specs. What's the beam of this boat? How much fuel does it hold? Things like that. What... Sure, so it holds 475 gallons of fuel. It's a 12 foot beam boat. With engines, it's 4210 overall length. Without engines, it's right at 40 feet. Boat holds 100 gallons of water. You got 50 gallons of water for the cabin downstairs for shower and toilet, sinks, all that stuff. You got 50 gallons on deck for washing the boat down or you know just hosing off or whatever. Awesome. You can definitely notice that that ex that 12 foot beam, which makes yeah. a huge difference. The yeah. space in here is tremendous. Even with everything you guys fit in the boat, it doesn't feel crowded. Correct. So yeah. sometimes when there's too much going on, it feels like you get cramped. But I mean, this boat you can tell is a tank. Super nice job so far. Well, let's continue forward. See, there's some storage underneath the cap here. So what do you guys use these for? Life jacket storage. I'd put my fire extinguishers, first aid kit, e perbs stuff you got a quick access at the helm, you know, reach in there and grab. Okay. But it could be used for anything. Very nice. It's great to utilize that space that usually is just empty space, especially for safety equipment, things like that, which you don't want to take up your valuable real estate, but it's good to be able to have it at a spot that God forbid, you know. You need it in a hurry. Destruction strikes, you need it. It's not down at the bottom of your cabin that you can't reach. Correct. So I see you got your wash down here. Yep. I assume yep. so there's, there's one there's, on the other side. Yeah, there's two wash downs, port and starboard and aft as well. You've got 12 volt outlets pretty much everywhere. They're 30 amps. So if somebody wanted to put some Hubble plugs there for reels or whatever, it'd be a, a quick change out. And those are kind of just some universal plugs right now. Okay. Cup holders, you know, USB plugs here. Again, JL Audio 88s there. Got a little bit of in-floor storage here for whatever. Pop if you had somebody fishing that wanted to just throw something down in there, or you know, you just want to store some smaller gear down in there or whatever. Yeah. You know, pretty unique to this boat also is, you know, gunnel storage up here. So fenders, dock lines, things like that, that you don't want to have to bend down into the floor and grab is kind of convenient. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Utilizing all that, what yeah, used to be empty utilizing, space to- Utilizing that flare space in that hull. So you got a forward seat here, lounger. This looks like, you know, with the sound system and everything you got going on, its own entertainment space. Yeah, exactly. Just right here. Yep, on its own zone, so that you can control the volume up here different. From I know JL Audio's got it under control, so. Exactly. Yeah, so depending where you are on the boat, you have the different zones that JL Audio sets up with their MVI amp system. So you can basically have a party going on out here and be reading a book in the back of the boat. Depending what you got going on, JL Audio can set it up so everyone's comfortable and getting the, the experience that they want. Up here, this boat also, we equipped it with a, a drum windlass, you know, so if you're trying to do that quick anchoring, you know, free fall on the anchor, keeps the anchor locker nice and clean and neat. Oh, that's awesome. I've noticed actually some of those windlass systems end up tangling up on you kind of more than anything else. If you don't have the distance for, for that rope wow. to have some sort of weight, it'll just tangle up. Yep. So that drum right there exactly. is one of the best things that I've personally seen. And I've seen it lately on a few more boats. So that there's really no chance that that thing tangles up. Nope. You can control that from the console, I'm sure, exactly. with almost 100% yep. guarantee that that thing's gonna function the way that you want it to. Very nice that you have the space to put it and that you guys integrated that into, into it. Love to see it just because I've struggled with those windless systems oh, before. Yeah, and windless if you've is, dealt with it, yeah, it's the exactly. worst. You end up just cranking the anchor over the side and that's what happened with us kind of growing up. Exactly. We wouldn't deal with it. We would just take a different different storage compartment with a different anchor and just throw it by hand Absolutely. with the windlass on the bow of the boat. So 
this is pretty cool here. Talk us through this. A couch there, right, that you can sit on, relax. The kids can hang out here. This is air conditioned, standard air conditioning in the boat. A little TV, microwave, sound bar. But it also, if you want to spend the night on the boat, it actually folds down. So you just grab this, fold it down. And now you've nice. created a bunk there that you can, two people can comfortably sleep on, you know, or, or as many as you want to fit in there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You got get rod creative. storage. <laughs> get creative, exactly. <laughs> rod storage on the walls. That's nice for a 40 foot boat. This is a big cabin space. I see you exactly. have a private, private head and I assume yeah, a shower so, in there. So, so private head and also an enclosed shower. So the shower actually has a, a sliding door so you can close off oh, that oh, compartment nice. separate from the head. That's very nice. Right here, you got access to like your, your air conditioner, mechanical pumps, water heater, your lithium batteries are in there. You know, so just, just quick, easy access yep. to stuff. Keeps it out of the bilge, keeps it from, you know, being in that bilge water. That's awesome. Super nice. Yeah, actually for, for a 40 foot boat, this seems like a, a cabin space of a larger center console. Actually, exactly, you know, we shot, shot for getting as much headroom in here as possible because, you know, for me and you, it's, it's not an issue, but for some taller guys, it's, definitely yeah. uh an issue yeah well it's just it's big enough where it's usable some of these cabin spaces exactly. are so tight that realistically they end up just a, a storage space you're not going to use it to actually hang out but if you have small children or actually want to pull an overnighter here you can do it with absolutely no problem at all exactly. actually in, in comfort it's nice how you kind of close this thing off and yeah just perfect. created a nice finish to it even yes yeah, so you got access to all your breakers battery switches there's no fuses on the boat it's all resettable breakers you got your ac system here with your lithium battery charge so would give you time remaining if we were drawing anything right now just nice. let you know what your battery state is and again all that's integrated with you know when mercury did their new engines they just gave us so much alternator output that we're able to mm -hmm. run this whole system without even draining those down and really? you'll get four to five hours of runtime just sitting there with nothing running but you so can so the alternators on, on the new mercury's are, are pushing that much that mm -hmm. they can actually run this thing without without having to connect it to any correct yep yeah that's, yep. that's very important. so you can if you if you leave the engines idling all night you can pretty much infinitely <laughs> run the air conditioner that's awesome so, very cool it's come a long way that's for sure yeah let's continue along so what did you guys think about the new blackfin 400 cc let us know in the comments below mason thank you very much appreciate you guys we were really out. impressed really impressed with it been excited to see this boat for a while so thank you for the thorough walkthrough we always appreciate it hopefully you guys do too at home follow us subscribe share this with any friends that are interested in something like this and check out your local dealer, Blackfin dealer, if you want some more information on this one in particular. Thanks, guys.